Mike Gallo, KCThunder.com. Uh, Lindy, just what was your perspective of the execution of those final two plays, Shea shot and then the defensive stand? Um, I thought, you know, everybody was locked in. Um, coach drew up a, a play and, you know, Shay is just going to hit, hit the shot, man. That's that's what we want taking it at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, great play. You're down 17. Um, actually, dating back to last year, this is the 11th time that you all have come back from a 15-point deficit. Just what is it about this group that has the, the, the long view in mind in these types of games? Um, I think the resiliency of habits that we've been putting in, uh, you know, since last season. Um, and guys, you know, coming in, bringing the energy, uh, knowing that we're not going to hit any home runs and, you know, we're going to take it one play at a time and get, get us back into this thing. And, and then, you know, this is your third game of the season. What did it take for you to be able to, to do all the, the little things, running, sprinting the floor and um, picking up loose balls and, and that type of thing? Yeah, I mean, my job is just to come in and do whatever the team needs me to do, um, be able to stay ready, never know when name's going to get called. Um, but, you know, just bring energy, play with physicality, and be everywhere. Lindy, did you prepare differently today? Like, did Mark give you a heads up that this was going to be a game that you were going to play big minutes in? Uh, you know, he said he was going to come to me at some point in the game. Um, but, you know, the mentality stays the same whether he tells me or not, knowing that, you know, at, at any game that I suit up in, that, you know, he could throw me in there and just got a job is to stay ready. So. Shea obviously can create so much space for three-point shooters like yourself just with his drive and kick game. Like, what does that do um, just for your confidence that, you know, he's he can get his shot, but he's willing to get shots for others as well? Yeah. Um, you know, I feel like I'm the same way, just trying to space the floor for him, knowing that, you know, my guy's not going to go in there and help. Um, that <laughs> allows him to get to his game, and ultimately that's what we want. Linda, you talked about just kind of the, the perseverance that this group has, the mental toughness they have. Tonight, you guys were down 17, then you were down 16. You rallied back in both of those. Bradley Beal hits that big shot. Just Can you describe what was required of you guys tonight, especially on the road in, in an environment like this? Um, just stay in the course. Um, guys are going to make plays down the stretch. Um, but it starts you know, at the jump ball, at the tip. Um, you know, no matter how much we're down or how much we're ahead, the objective stays the same. And, uh, you know, we rely on our habits at the end of the day. Lindy, I just I wanted to ask you about last night, or sorry, yesterday afternoon, the, the trip to the White House and um, just your thoughts on that experience uh, for you personally and, and the organization with the two Thunder fellows there. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, being able to share an experience like that with the team, um, getting to learn about, you know, the history of America and uh, what all goes into it. And being able to ask tough questions, being able to uh, you know, voice our opinions about things that uh, we see that needs justice. Um, it's just amazing being able to be given that opportunity. Um, you know, just something I'll carry for a long time. Anyone else? What's it like as a teammate? What's it like to be as a teammate to see Shea play at this high level? Uh, you know, sometimes it's like standing there and I see him just going to work and uh, I can get mesmerized for a split second, like thinking like, you know, he's he's got a big bag and, you know, he can go to any move at any time. Um, but then I got his own right back in and, you know, keep doing what I do, knowing that he's going to do that for himself. So um, it's fun playing with him. Anyone else? Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. You got a front row view to the to the turnover to end the game. Yeah, it was a big shot. I mean, I kind of knew Shea was gonna shoot the three. You know, that's just that's just him. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it was just a great play by Coach. You know, got him open, and we trust him going one on one. And you know, he just hit a big shot for us. And uh, that last play defensively, I mean, we've been through it. And I feel like last time I fouled it. Lopez because I turn around and try to look at the ball and this time I didn't turn around I just raised my hand I'm like yeah so that was just a great team win honestly I know that you knew you said you knew Shea was going to shoot a three but in these situations he's kind of proven to be very unpredictable I mean 
He can get to the rim. He can get to the mid-range. He can hit that shot going left or right. In your mind as a defender, how hard is that in a one-on-one, -on -one, six seconds left to, to go against a guy that has every move there and you don't know what he's going to do? It's tough. I mean, I feel, I feel bad for the dudes we go against. I got to go Shea, honestly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I feel bad. And, you know, he just got a full package. And um, that time, you don't know what he's going to do. If he's going to go to the rim, get to his middies, or shoot a three. So it's, you just got to guess and try your best. And, see, you know, there's so many guys like that. And, and they, they, they like that tough, like that's a guard in the NBA for a reason. So Shea is one of them. And, uh, you know, he just hit a really big shot for us. And then you guys come back from down 17. It's the 11th time over the last two years that you guys have come back from 15 or more for a win. Uh, just, I don't know, can you speak to maybe what's been built here over the last few years in terms of the, the mental toughness? It's a 48-minute game. We can't, can't give up. And, uh, you know, in the game, we know we're going to have some ups and downs. And sometimes we're going to be really down, and we still got to come back and, and play the whole game. And that's, that's just what we've been doing. And um, it's tough sometimes to put ourselves in that those type of opposition, but we still got to fight through the whole game. Lou, you and Shea both mentioned um, what happened at the end of that Milwaukee game. He said after he made the shot, he's coming to the huddle and saying, one more stop, one more stop. Like, how much was that on your guys' mind? And, and just being, you know, just happened a few days ago that yeah. you're, you're in a similar situation here? Uh, it was it's stuck in my, in my head for a long time, after a couple, couple of days after the game, you know, and then you know, and you know, it happened today again, and we all knew what to do, and we was all prepared, and you know, we we knew what to do. All the switches was on time and on point, and you know, they threw the ball, and it was everybody was ready, and it was just a great stop. Lou, there were a couple of times where you guys were able to rally back, and it seemed like it was different groups each time that kind of sparked it. In the first quarter, it was the second unit that came in and, and really gave you guys a boost. That third quarter group, the group that came out of halftime, it was a different lineup. You guys were all, you know, really switchy out there. Just what did that group bring to the game? What did you feel out there on the floor with them? Oh, uh, I mean, the second unit brought a lot. Just we had a bad start, and, you know, they had it going. So when the, the second group got in, you know, they really stepped up for, for us, and, and uh, when we came out of halftime, we just that, that was one of the talks in the locker room. You know, the, the way we started the game was not, not our best, and we just had to step it up, and that's what we did. And then I wanted to ask you about Lindy, a, a two-way guy who comes in, hasn't really played all season, only three games, and he gives you guys some massive minutes tonight. Just what does that say about him, and what have you seen from him just in, in practice and in your interactions with him that, you know, lead to something mm -hmm. like tonight? I mean, Lindy is a one of our – is probably the best shooter on our team, one of our best shooters on our team, and you know he's always ready, <clears throat> and uh, he knows he knows his job and he knows what to do when he's on the court, and he's so confident. So there's no doubt. We know every time he shoots the ball, we think it's going in, and uh, that's how we, we we want him to play for us. Anybody else? Thank you, Luke. Thank you. Thank you.